Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Overwatch Canine Services and American Standard Dog Training. To my left here is Kalua, three and a half months old now, a husky, female, and uh, she's ready to rock and roll and show you what she's learned these last four weeks. Without question, this dog heals better than most police canine dogs. Down. Good. He's off leash at three months old. What is that? Is that a sit or a down? That looks like a down. Stay. When they do a hand command for a sit, it's going to be different than the way I do hand commands for stands and sits like that. You can go places with her like this without a leash. Good. Down. Good. Sit. On them, up, yeah. Sit. Good. Good girl. You guys from PETA can suck it. <laughs> she about took you out. She is a ton of energy. Very high drive, uh, very dominant for her age. We're just very happy to have had her and definitely a beautiful dog. Get a lot of compliments everywhere we go. And just show you where we're at. Uh, she's done phenomenal. Um, and I guess I'll preface it with, you know, just because we do a four week training with every dog or three, three to four week training with every dog, I just want to point out that, you know, not every dog is capable of the same, right? Whether it's genetics, the age we get them, the prior training they have, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, with her, we were able to go pretty far because of her high drive, tremendous food drive. We basically started with a, with a very nice clean slate. That's why we like working with puppies because we're starting with like a white canvas uh, as opposed to some older dogs where we have to spend a lot of time eliminating bad habits. We basically started fresh with her. So with, that's enough talking. Let's get to it. She's the star of the show today. We'll just show you where we're at. You're going to see me using this. This is a uh, uh, mini educator. It's an e-collar. That's what that pink band is around her. She also has a pinch collar hooked up, which to be honest, we don't even need that on right now. But all these are just tools of the trade because she is such a high drive little dog that we have to, uh, you know, tone her down when needed. And we may or may not use this uh, today during our session, but if we do, I will let you know when we use it. So she's ready to work. It's early in the morning. Um, this is our first training session of the day. Even though we're not training, I mean, she's done. She's constantly training. So let's make it happen. All right, you ready to rock and roll? Let's show them what you got. Heal. Her healing is amazing. Very proud of her healing. Without question, this dog heals better than most police canine dogs. And I mean that like 100%. This, at three months old, she's rocking and rolling. Yeah, girl. Good girl. Again, I will let you know if and when I use this, just so we're all understanding how this thing works. We'll do a left about here coming up. She's like, what is that lady doing following me with the camera? Good girl. And we'll come to a nice stop. Good girl. She corrected herself, a little self-adjustment. She got a little far ahead. Down. Good. Good girl. So, that's where we're at with the healing. Sit. Oh, what? that's very crooked. Come on, finish. Clean that up. Good girl. In fact, you take a few steps back, we'll show you what her finish routine looks like when we call her to us. Free. She's looking for that one. And perfect time to use the e-collar if needed, but she's got to figure it out. Finish. Yeah, very excited this morning. Very nice. Down. That was an e-collar just to get her snapped out of it. Little tap of 12. Good girl. Stay. Down. Stay. Again, just another tap when she broke up from the uh, from this day. Super motivated. She hasn't eaten yet. I've only given her like the three or four pieces you just saw on camera. So she's working extra hard to try to get paid. But almost too hard. She's overachieving and trying to get me to pay her. So, good girl. What is that? Is that a sit or a down? That looks like a down. I like it. She's a beautiful dog. Stay. Why don't you go up there and get some close-ups of this uh, beautiful young lady here. Good girl. Look at those eyes. Mm, mm, mm. Down. Good. Stay. Very nice looking dog. All right, you want to keep working, girly? Let's do it. So she is what we call off-leash trained. It's part of our four-week doggy board and train program. That means um, you can go places with her like this without a leash, uh, but you must bring this because this is what we call 
our digital leash. It's a 100, 200, 300, 400 yard leash that uh, allows her to be free, right? That allows her to free, chase whatever she wants, but if she has to come back, we call her back. In fact, on the next one, I'm gonna show you how it works. Good girl, I know you already. I'm gonna purposely throw this one in the grass, make it difficult for her to find, and then I'm gonna recall her off of it, all right? She may yelp, but that's, we're simulating as if she ran across the street, right? She sees a, a cat, another dog, a tennis ball, and this tennis ball rolls across the street, and we have to call her back. This is how we would do that. All right, ready to go? Here, free, here, here. Good girl, beautiful, beautiful. And that's a, that's a dog with incredibly high food drive. Um, and that was on a level 12. This can go up to 100. So if we had to go up, if the drive was even higher, we can go up. And that's why I love these mini educators because this button here will give us a 12. Uh, the way I have it programmed, if I hit both buttons, it'll jump up to 20 levels over that should I need to. Free. Right? Basically, it's an emergency button, right? So let's say she was super high drive and the 12 wasn't getting it in an instant I can get what I need to get accomplished and let her know, hey, running across the street is not what we want. So, but because of this tool, right, all these people freak out that these tools are so bad. Look at this puppy here. This dog couldn't be any happier. And she's off leash at three months old, uh, loving life. And now she has many, many years ahead of her of off leash freedom. She's no longer tied to a leash because of this tool. So you guys from PETA can suck it. Here, good. Good girl. What do you think about PETA? Hmm? Are you an abused dog? You don't look abused. Sit. Oh, I'm brav, yeah. Good. We also have her trained up on the uh, on different place boards. Let's walk over there and show you what that's all about. Yo. Come on, baby. Let's go back. Woo, looking good. I want to step on you. Bye, yeah. yeah. Good girl, good girl. All right, let's work on, well, I guess it'll be the touch board because that's what she wants. This is where we taught her uh, competition level healing. Yeah, you gotta tighten up though. Good girl. That's to get her to teach her little booty to swing around. Good. I'm gonna pay you on these one of these next ones. Uh, 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 uh. That's good. If you notice, it's not very natural for a dog to rotate their back hips. Uh, nothing in nature would ever make them really rotate their back hips. Maybe if they were playing or something, but I'm trying to teach them kind of this unnatural behavior. Good. And what that leads to is, yes, what that leads to is this. Uh, we'll do it here in the grass. Here. Good girl. That's what I'm looking for. Very nice. Beautiful. Let's do some distance control while we're out in the grass. Come on. Let me go back to the uh, touch boards and touch boards. So you have to understand the um, good girl. What's the word I'm looking for? This is a three month old dog, a puppy. She's got like the attention span of a gnat. And for us to be able to achieve this, I mean, I'll pat myself on the back. Thank you very much. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Prepare three or four pieces for that. Good girl. Yeah. And she's not allowed up from the stay until I go free. Touch of the nose, a little free. And uh, she's allowed to break whatever I'm asking her to hold. Uh, now let me show you this other little place board that we used. It's kind of like uh, where she's at after four weeks and also kind of how we got her there. We use this as kind of a, as a finish board. Look, she already knows what, game, what time it is. Um, in fact, we have to do this on the sidewalk because she's gonna get a lot of free pieces. So I don't want her to keep losing them in the grass. All right, ready to rock? I say nothing. That's how much this, this thing is charged up. She's like, there's got to be food in here somewhere because I always get paid here. Sit. Oh, good sit. Sit. Yambraf. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Very nice. And so we charge this up to kind of get her in the heel position. Free. Keep rolling in the grass. Let her get that one. Good girl. Here, finish. Good girl. And that's how we build the finish. Still a little crooked. This time, free. Here. Come on. We can't wait for you to get everyone out of the grass. 
good girl. And that's where that finish comes from, from this little uh, uh, made up place board. It works perfect for us for little small dogs. And my daughter has put her little stickers on there to make it even prettier. So, last thing we'll show you is the place board that she's gonna uh, spend a lot of time on in the house. Uh, we always talk about having these place boards. They are fantastic. Not these per se, it's more like a training place board. But uh, let me bring this one over here. You can stay there. Yeah, I knew you were gonna jump on that. What am I supposed to carry you? It's not a magic carpet. All right, let me show you what this thing does. This is the, leave it here, here. Those were two taps of the e-collar, by the way. I don't know what she was getting into, but there's nothing in the grass for her. I don't know if it's a dead animal, um, maybe a piece of food, a rotten piece of training food. I have no idea, but regardless, she doesn't need to be digging her nose in the grass. And so I told her, leave it, a little tap of this on a 12, which is nothing, and uh, get her off of that, get her coming to me. So, love this tool, fantastic. All right, so this is the place board. Now we can literally walk around the entire neighborhood, come back, and she'll still be here. You wanna try it? No, that would make for boring uh, television, but she's going to stay on there for a long time. No matter what the distractions are or whatever, this piece of equipment is super light. You can roll it up, pack it up. I guess you could even squeeze it in a book bag if you needed to. But you could take that with you somewhere. Let's say you want to go to the beach, the park, whatever's around you, and you want to have a good time, you want to have a picnic, bring the dog, but you want to be able to, you know, confine her or him, him or her. Um, this is what this tool is for. But we use it mostly in the house so that if we have guests over, if we're eating dinner, or whatever it may be, and you just need the dog to go to their place, that's what we use this for. And you see, I don't even have to tell her to get on that. You really have to tell her to get off of it because they love this so much because it's very comfortable, a lot of airflow. Uh, it's like a hammock. And who doesn't want to hang out in a hammock, right? And so they sleep in there. Um, they hang out there for hours and hours at a time without issue. But we also use it as a, here, as a great little training platform. Sit. Good. That is the laziest half sit I've ever seen in my life. You can do it, baby. I mean, we're out in the, it's like 90 something degrees out, so she's probably ready for some water. But we're about to end this video. Can I get a sit? Yeah, that was a little tap of the e-collar. Let her know, get that butt up. That's good. She's got a stand. Real nice stand. Good. Good stand. Yambrav. Stand. Good. Down. Good. That's it. Nothing special. Sits, downs, hears, uh, healing, off-leash healing. Um, I think the last thing we'll show you, I mean, we kind of did it there, the recall, but my camera lady and uh, me will do a couple hears back and forth, and you'll see the enthusiasm, uh, and we'll use the e-collar, actually, to speed her up. You'll see how fast she goes. She's a fast little thing. All right, let me hang up this place board. Free? Go find that one. Good girl. Whenever you're ready, go ahead, call her. Look at that speed. <laughs> she wanted to keep coming back to me because I'm the money man. I got all the food, but call her again. Yeah, great enthusiasm. <laughs> this is one of you are going to pay me eventually. So I keep running back and forth. Good girl. Now, you couldn't be doing what we're doing now. She couldn't have that freedom if we didn't have her uh, charged up on an e-collar and understanding it, right? So, that's the beauty of these things. And you can see it doesn't affect her behavior, not at all. And she's been, we've been using this for probably three and a half weeks now. Started this probably, oh, not day one, but first few days we, we started using it. A very low level, and uh, here we are. And she can have a great time. So I'm not sure what else there is to show you. These videos always get a little long, but <laughs> she about took you out. Uh... All right, so here, get her on camera. Good girl. She wanted to run off and get water. She's about to disappear around the corner. A little action on the 12. Come on back, and here she is. And, and that also took a little bit of the, the crazy out. Sometimes those dogs get wound up, get a little crazy. Here, bring the crazy back. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know you want the water, but we're almost done, I promise. Now she's choking up, choking on the food that she had. All right, so come on in. Let's finish this video. Good, and I will pay you because you've been awesome. You've been awesome. Yeah. All right. Come on in here for a pretty picture. Let's go. we got to finish this up. Come on. 
So if you guys want to know what I'm feeding her, it's a Royal Canin uh, puppy brand. I think it's, what, a large breed puppy. Uh, the kibbles look like this. It's just a perfect size for, for hand delivery, and she loves it. Down? Good. So uh, that's about it, folks. Um, fantastic dog. Um, can take her anywhere. Anywhere. She heals off leash. It doesn't matter where you are, how crowded the place is. She's glued to her, to her handler. Now we're going to go home today. Today is her drop-off day, and we're going to tune her up with her, uh, with her owner. And what I mean by that is get them paired up. Get her knowing that her, her, uh, her parents are just as much fun as me, pay just as much food, but also have the power to recall them should, should you need to, um, and just pair them up. Like I always explain, I call it uh, pairing the remote. Uh, we have the TV, the TV works, the owner works, now we're just going to pair the TV with the remote, so to speak, and let them know uh, how to communicate because when I say sit, it's going to sound different than the way they say sit. Um, when they do a hand command for a sit, it's going to be different than the way I do hand commands for stands and sits like that. So. Um, we're just going to basically pair them up so that she understands what their sit command looks like, what their down looks like, so that everything looks great. <laughs> yeah, she does have hand commands, by the way. That's how we teach them. So I think that's it. Without further ado, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more adventures in dog training. We've got another young puppy in, and he's only one week in. We've got two weeks left with him. Uh, his name is Bentley, and he is a 10-week-old American Staffordshire Terrier, and we hope to get him uh, as good as Miss Kalua here, All right? Yeah, good girl, good girl. All right, folks, we will see you on the next video. Let's finish feeding you. Come on. Let's go. Heel. Good heel. Yum, bro. Oh. Trick is not to step on you. So smart.